is good, y'all. It's Brucey back with another one. We're playing episode four of The Wolf Among Us today, so let's get right into this shit. All right, so we basically got bent over a table and destroyed by Bloody Mary and the Tweedles. Uh, just shotguns everywhere. Now we're recovering from it. I'm gonna need more than a beer, bro. My goodness. Hell of shotguns. Who's this? Oh, it's her. Ludith Mary, hate that bitch, bruh. See you around. I promise you won't. <clears throat> Jesus. Hollow points are a nasty <laughs> business. The silver slot. Hollow points? Oh my goodness. He'll be okay though. Hmm? He'll be okay. His internal Look at Snow worried about me. Riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Let's hope not. Easy there. Try not to move. Jesus. Snow stood on business for a, we can't keep a second. And then she like Ringo. You done before you were conscious. Am I good? But there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart. How bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say <laughs> damn near it. Even my good. You know me. Always the best at everything, even even being hurt. Please, Big B, don't move it, Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Okay, man. Let's do it. Oh my! Right in front of snow. I'm a fucking badass. Boom. Oh. Let's try again. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, this is crazy. Nah, I can do it. I'm doing it in front of snow. I'm him, bro. Let's go. Boom. See all that snow? <laughs> hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. Thank you. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. Oh shit, Colin. Hide from her. Before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Okay. I need some whiskey. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with Oh, no, I wanted to stay in the room. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's... Out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... No, I want her around. Mind. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerves severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us Bro, the time. Bro, let her stay. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin. Colin, shut that ass up, bro. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in 10 minutes flat. Colin, you're not even I once watched a fucking wolf right? turn a pig into bacon in 30 oh, seconds, really? nigga. Where am I supposed to be? Don't distract I'm the doctor, man. Take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. Yes, yeah, stand on spinning, Swanheart. Stand on it. 10 God, toes down. There. All done. Jesus. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me, and well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Jesus, why is silver a weakness for werewolves? I never got that. He'll be fine for light duty if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. I need it's a just been buff. An unusual couple of days. I know. But please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. Please, please take care of me. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Let's say sound of this one. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. <laughs> I'll try. I'm not gonna deny that. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin. Swiney. Yeah, beef. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Give me a drink. So, how do you um feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I see him get worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. So, not well then. Colin, shut your ass. <gasps> Please. I'm glad you're not dead. She's trying to raise me up now. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Uh. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like uh Oh, that. And we're getting Rizzy, hold up, get Rizzy. Snow, I'd never leave you. Uh oh. Yeah, you were really Bro, Colin, up, stop. I was getting rizzy. Like what you do you mean, bro? And bend its limbs the wrong way. Oh my. Colin, I'm just saying I was worried Come about the his fuck own. on, bro. He hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? What's better happening about a senior dumbass of the farm? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Oh, you better be worried crooked about the bacon man. on the table. Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? All in shut that ass. <gasps> to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So I want to thank her. Bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. Oh, she's still on business. No I respect it. Thanks. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Nah, he's a he's a little oh, weak ass nigga, bro. Man thinks he's got Snow on. She did what she had to. We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, oh. okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care take about it right now. Before I take you, nigga. Just That's what everything does I'm, the everything I want to say. Want out of this. I thought he was just a loan shark. Well, that, that didn't sound right. He's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff just this been one. going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swinehart said, okay? I'll try. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think, Owen? I, mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work oh that way. Oh my god. A little restraint We're doing our best. thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look. I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. Okay. So I should have said what I wanted so, to say to you. Starting now, like, come on. We do everything just cut and dried. By the book. Straight as an arrow. Pure Except when I had to blow some niggas ass. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. He's- this Colin is instigating. He's exactly like what me. What happened last night, what you turned into- Spitting image. Except for the pig. It can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' oh mind at a moment's notice, okay. then that would mean I had no other choice, man. Our ability to help this town. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. degrees. I got shot up. I only what are you talking about? Necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Colin, they, that's my nigga, bro. No, nah, I'm on Colin's side. Fuck snow. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and Thank shake. Thank you, Colin. Take a shower now and then. 
Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Colin. That's my homie, though. For real. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm Thanks. going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. Like, I haven't been respecting you this whole time. And this situation has to end. What situation? <laughs> All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the... Holy oh, give me a fucking shit. break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the calm down. reason, Colin. Calm down. Everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now. What's it gonna be, Bigby? Don't ask me. He's on the phone. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Oh, Nigkin. Okay. The boy. I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? Jealous, huh? Broad from the pudding and pie? Oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh, that's Apparently, my second wife. He's called a broad. That she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. Mm -hmm. What do you think that could be? <laughs> uh, be jealous. He's got an admirer. Oh, I know always something. always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Nigby Wolf. The boy. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. Colin is still on the business for me. She's a piece All of the work. business has been stand. Hey, you're not you know, really going to send me to the farm, are you? Fuck no. I mean... She seemed real serious. I would not do that to my boy, bro. Okay. You defended me. Maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Big B. No problem, big man. I, I'm choosing friendship every day. You just can't be out in the halls like that. Nigga bought Crane's office. Soon to be Snow White's office. Nigby Wolf. Let's see. I gotta look sturdy in front of Narissa. Yeah. Second ride or die. There she is. Hi. Nigby's sure. office. What is good, Narissa? Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. What are you, little buddy? Yeah, I'm cooked. Let's get to the questioning. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Riz a you know, coming in. Around. Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <laughs> It'll sound too promising. <laughs> Puffin puffs. Not many people smoke those. All right, bougie ass. Thanks. Let's hear this. So what was that back there with Crane? He wanted you to tell me something. You know, it's not too late to talk. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Let me guess. What I mean is... Hey, Ron. I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just go ahead. It's about the you're here because the crooked dang man just sent yeah, right to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. Damn it, Rio. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. 
Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Uh, hey, I'm right here. Trust me. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Mmm. Are you? Here we go. Are you telling me my friends are involved? No. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 hey. I thought I could do this. Yo. I need you to know I want to help, but. But. Let's just see. Your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I promise you, you aren't. I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It was. It is beautiful. Here we go. That's why you can't tell me anything. Mm hmm. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Damn. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! His lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Jesus Christ! You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. I. What do you mean? <sighs> you man. Okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off, comforting, rising. Probably snow. Listen. Uh oh. Here we go. Can you keep this conversation between us? On God, I can. I could be in a lot of trouble. Your thing. I won't tell anyone. No, I'm not telling anyone. I won't tell a soul about this. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. Oh, I, I said hate Beauty. She snitched on me. Something. I wonder Beauty snitched, bro. Crane. I'm not helping her. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. Mm -hmm. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. I'm pissed at fucking message. beauty, bro. She snitched. Come on. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay, then. Good work. Thank you. So, about beauty and beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? Yes. What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night and they're scared about what's been it's going on? It's worth looking on. into. Even if there isn't much to it, it's still our best lead. It's worth looking into. You gotta keep Nurse safe as well. Hmm. Why didn't their name right there? You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. I.e. the crooked man. Bigby, 
You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? Uh, that Definitely. would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Okay. I don't know what that's about. I'm gonna have a word with beauty. Snish. I'm, I'm just gonna walk in. I'll give it a nod. Oh. What do you want? What are you well, talking about? You're just going around knocking on doors. You call a dumbass. Call, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Right, man. You still think I fucked your, you still think I fucked your bitch. I think you're the a snitch. One. And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Okay, let and me in before so I break the door down. Fuckface. All the sneaky bitch head. And secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Invite me in, gonna let buddy. Me in or what? Before I invite myself in. Mm hmm. It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big <laughs> He's B. so salty. Please excuse us for just a minute. <laughs> Why is he so salty? Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. You know damn well I didn't do shit. You saw the apartment. Like, what the fuck? Let's have a look around here. I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. This is like the same size as my apartment, but they just have more shit. It was back in the old days. <sighs> Talk about living in the past. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting Is it broken? That? Or do you want to try to sort this out? Mm. All I'm saying is we can handle this on okay. our own. We didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. Anything over we'll here? Finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Let me stand right here in front of him. You better come on out. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. Never heard anybody say, say that all the way. Your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. Aren't you in debt? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Mm -hmm. You end up going to the crooked man. I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Yeah. Why are you, you owe it to me because you snitched. I'm just trying to do what's best for I want to help you, bro. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what you already snitched on me, bro. Across the crooked man, and I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, if you're if honest, you I'll protect you. Give us certain assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know, and that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Mm -hmm. Really? And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. Okay? Oh, bougie. We just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived okay, like... Bro. Like, uh, like us, right? Jesus. Uh, let me just uh... a day at the beach. Skiing hey, the slopes. Hey, we're not done here. <laughs> and I we should... can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as. 
<laughs> Humanly possible. It sound posh as fuck in that. Jesus. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So Who is that? consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Thank for the answer. It's not the crooked man, but I think it's a minion. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. <laughs> Dude, he sent me. I'm snitching immediately. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. Jersey Devil. So when I needed money, that's where I went. Who's Jersey? I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess uh, he's hit hard Bloody times. Mary was there. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check that out the mean? lucky pawn. I don't know what you mean by that. Track down the crooked man there. Maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, He's a drug dealer. it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. What you are you delivering? You gotta understand, I need it work. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. Is Mary always there? It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. <laughs> I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Right. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. Where you see my None place, bro. Should. You're not even scraping in this bitch. You have we luxury. Were once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't Jesus. understand, Big B. Surely not, right? Fuck off. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Yep. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? I'm going if to... If this all goes uh, sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Uh... So Bloody Mary's been to both places. Jersey gave Beauty the loan, and Bitchface worked at the butcher shop for the packages. But personally, fuck Beauty. Actually, you know what? We'll go, we'll go to the Lucky Pond. Fuck I'm it. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's 
Too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. I don't there care. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Do not care. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would what are you insinuating, really bitch face? It. What do you say? Can you help us? Out? I'll handle it, bro. I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. This guy wants me to murder him. Dude, I might. Why is Toad here? Slept in it. And in a pile of oh my garbage. god, we have Jack. Why are you I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? <laughs> Whoa. Big B's here. This is official oh, business. I'm just here for information. It's about the murders. This'll take two minutes and I'll be out your way. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem. Base code? Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left you're not me in my place. Like that. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of finders keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> This is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. What are you complaining to him for? I don't set the prices. Witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard. The materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. Or shut your ass up. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running? I'm just gonna stick right oh. You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. Shut up. I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. Thanks, Toad. I'm sure you'll have a look Actually, to pretty useful about. for once. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Back off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options. In Bro, that. I got you. Don't worry, homie. Look, I'll, I'll give you some money. All right. You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? Dog, I'm broke, I've, but you, I got you. I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. All right. If you're gonna be no, out no. like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. It's hard to tell way, you fucking your dumbass from. Like it's the same Drop shit. Any time. It really grows on you. Look, I told you I work here, and I do. Okay, so don't look so surprised. I believe you, but and why? You, you ask. I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair, and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Yeah. Is this really why you came down here? Yep. The woodsman's axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not a mind reader. The axe here? More than just pawning going on here. You got the loans. What else? Maybe it's like a weapons locker, too. 
Was I mean, the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes one. miss the obvious. And if I just happen to find a giant mystical axe? That would be quite the magic trick. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. Stop lying to really, me. He'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It nope. really wouldn't be good for me Let's take a look if he around. sees your face when he walks in. So, uh... I wanna check stuff out here first. If this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. The Jersey the Devil isn't up. here to answer my get questions. The fuck back. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long mm -hmm. as I've got the elbow room. Alright. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Alright. Top price for gold and silver. Dagger. What's this? This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Did he sell this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? But the Tweedles got that. The dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh... How can you not know who pawned it? I'm not here every day. And even when I am here, people sometimes dump boxes of shit. What does it matter? Fine. You don't know how hard most of us have it. Bro, I have it <laughs> just as difficult. You and Grin and Toad, you're all better off than you think. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. Headless Horseman. This was in Crane's apartment, bro. Isn't this from Crane's apartment? Maybe. I don't know. You didn't go back over there and swipe it. I swear. On Toad's life. Lion? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh... What? You lied. I, I, do, I don't, uh... You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That wasn't... The axe was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, yep. I don't work every day, so... Uh, On the truth. And even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. Why she Why wanted to take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a sister? Here he is. Gonna... Not my fucking sister. But you you're the guy who makes sure I'm that... the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right Hiya, fucking fellas. now. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby? What is are his you... axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. What? Did you just disrespect me? Uh, he wanted to know where. Actually, you know what? Fuck I don't me now, care by the way. what he wanted. You're dealing with me now, okay? And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning? Big Beast joined the yeah, up, bitch. obedience school for wayward fucking creatures. He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers, and Big B handed him over. Just that is not like true. That. I'm uh just gonna Did not happen like that. Let you two, you know. I wouldn't exactly put it like that. 
Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna. Jesus. You piece of shit. Yo. I'm gonna restrain Jersey. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Are, are you done shit. chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? Watch yourself, Jersey. You follow me here all the way from Battery Fucking Park. Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still Dog. Sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. I'm gonna, I'll kill you in your own shot, big man. You know what? what the fuck do you think you're doing? You fuck. Oh, motherfucker. I'm gonna keep going until that shit's in your fucking face, bro. What the fuck do you think you are? What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Buddy, I was here first. Dog, what do you, you mean? Got a lot of nerve. Oh, he transformed into a fucking Windigo. <laughs> There's a the devil, but it looks like Windigo. Boom! <laughs> oh, there's the X. I'm big and bad. Fuck you. Too bad you couldn't protect those whores. Buddy. Go on. Try to stop me. And what exactly are you gonna do? Fucking stay down. There she is. Mm-hmm. Boom. And again. Nope. Nope. Hey, buddy, hit me. Yeah, hey, dumbass. Hit me. Do something. Buddy. Tee up, right? Give me that. Take this. You literally asked for it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Woody. A little bit of help, eh? eh? Like a stray dog. I'm like a fucking wolf. Hey, You're a dog. Mm-hmm. Big Woody in the cut. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Goodness. Mm-hmm. Wise words of a man just like me. So it's so hard to hide. I'm a dog man. nigga. I you make a mistake and show it. A crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots behind the sun. In the <coughs> hey, dumbass. Shadows. Nice riddle. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. Thanks for that information. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh. How do you talk to him? Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens. Oh, goblins. The fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. And you have an antler in your stomach. Useless bitch, no white, no hey. broken fucking Who the mirror. fuck do you think you're talking to? Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. We'll do. Cut above. 
If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Oh That's shit. Her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming back up your line. You not be fucking with me. Or I'll come back here and finish the job. <laughs> You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Sid. With pleasure. Thanks, Woody. Hey, Sheriff. Say something nice. Those sweet. girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did. But I do know this. I'm gonna hear them out until oh, I shut them up. They're dead. It's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. Nope. Don't think so. Oh! Yeah, shut the fuck up, will ya? Literally. You told me everything I needed to hear, so I'll shut you up. How to smoke. Simple. I do. Give that to him. That's my homie. Thanks. <laughs> sure they brought it. Knew it. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Why, bro? I'm on your side. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Max. Is that the plan? I'm planning on it. You're damn right it is. Fuck right. with Woody, oh my god. I'll see you around, Woody. Hey, Woody. Yeah. I'll see you around, all right? Yeah. I'll see ya. That's my homie, bro. Me and Woody cool now. Cut above. Let's see what they got in here. No smoking. I'll just whatever, I'll stop. Hmm. Frozen meat. Let's look at it. That shit is rotten. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? To me. What? Well, actually, no. I'm gonna sneak back there. Bigby Wolf? <laughs> what happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The hey, magic mirror hey, dumbass, answer me. Shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, <laughs> didn't she? Hey, uh... What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> What kind of place do you think this is? Don't oh, bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? Yeah, you're hurting. It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I've been there. I didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? You see the evidence. Anyway, 
If, if I'd have known you already looked at the lucky pawn, I, I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. Better give it up, Here's man. Here's the magic mirror shard. Quit fucking around and tell me. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. Listen, Crane had the mirror. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... I want to teach these guys ass. That? What? Oh, this guy. Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. I'm gonna go immediately. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right yeah, back. Bro. Butcher. I just have to go see. Go, 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 go. Shit. Food. Delicious. No, you don't. I'll take a look see myself. I'm gonna stay quiet. I'm not back here, don't worry. Come on, damn it. Mm. Nigga, just find him. You're a sniff him out, nigga. You're a wolf. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, big me. Please don't. Big me. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Mere talk. You don't talk. I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm dead. Either way. They said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Just open the door, Johan, and it won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Open that Why shit before I not? open it with you, What's nigga. What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Bullshit. So you are a part of this. You've been bullshitting me this whole time. I've already asked you, and I don't like repeating myself. Where's the mirror shard? So help me, I will put your head through that damn door. Tell me what I need to know. Now. I don't know. I'm not part of their crew. Bro, crew. you're going to make me hit you. The you don't want to. Man's people. Thank Jersey you. Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. We'll see. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when.
If you press the alarm, fuck you. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. Sure. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's you all I've them. ever had. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. They'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your Bro, I ought to fucking something. hit you, bro. Where were you when they took this place from You me? didn't tell anybody, dumbass. It hasn't yeah. been easy Hey, dumbass. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? All right, Johan. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? Glamour operation. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't. It's probably where it. Crane got that fucking Please? memory racing uh, serum up. potion, whatever. Jackals. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Like someone gets beat the fuck up every day. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons. Chains, it's it's all the fucking same. Uh. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of bro. Your cuss your ass. I don't even there talk about any type of meat spells you can make with the right equipment. This is mine, buddy. In your fucking <laughs> stuff. symbol it's on all the packages what is it that's the crooked man's uh, brand it's on everything that goes in and out of here yeah so you do know something huh hmm? is that a, a wheel or what I guess they never used that thing on wolves huh what's that supposed to mean it's from back in the homelands a torture device it came over here with the rest of our stories not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing it makes people crooked by breaking their bones and do I really need to explain this no you're good bro all right uh hot board too bad they had time to erase it all this could have been useful Oh man. These jars? These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. What the hell is that? A coat of some kind. I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like cranes. Nigga bought cranes. Some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. Check the pockets. Big pocket. No time oh. for traveler's checks. Huh? Thank you for that. Taking that. He won't be needing this anymore. This... Jesus Christ. Sick piece of What's this? There the it shard. is. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. Uh, I got you your mind. back if you got mine, dude. Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. 
They won't care that I held up my end. I was like, you won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take them down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. No problem, big man. You're lucky you fucking assisted me, or else I would have took this place down. I have good news, Snow within Whitethin. I don't care who killed the Who is Bluebeard talking to like that? Helping yourself to the community coffers. It means his hand was in my pocket. Can you just let him go? I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word. Oh my God! Now, Miss White, oh, yes, Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking ball himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to. Wait. Yeah, shut that shit up, Bluebeard. If I, I deal moment, with you, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the bro. mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Walter White. Buffkin, get this piece of With the a one right piercing away. in the ear, bro. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. Thank you. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? Muscle thought bloody. you were going to report back to me. I mean... It's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky <laughs> Pond, but he told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? Yes. That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Hell yeah, Buffkin. Buffkin the boy. Far, Sheriff. Oh, shut I up. Have a few words of my own with hey, fuck, fuck off, so I'm ready. Fuck off until I'm good and ready. I don't care what he remembers. I don't care about him. He just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. Bring it on him. Crane was carrying it for part of the night, at least. Found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing. It's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for uh, hours. Yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing. That's all. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fabletown. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. <laughs> still yapping. It might be a while. <laughs> if you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business? <laughs> the problem with Fabletown. What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. <laughs> We're trying to catch a murderer, Bro. and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'll handle it, don't worry, Snow. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't... He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? I'll give him cash. Like I'm not sending as much as I want to send Toad to the farm. That means he'll get mad at me for keeping Colin. Come here. But I'm not getting rid of Colin. I see. There's only three to keep Toad too. Stuff to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall. It is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda. I'll try to pay you, bro. Hey, I tried to give you money back to the Lucky Pawn, but you wouldn't take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab ride home, let alone a glamour. That's such cat. Please, I'm not looking for any more than to cover the big ticket damages. Not a cent more. I'm not looking for a handout. Here. Just what's right. Here. Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? 
Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Tug. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Hey, buddy. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. No problem. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. About control. What would make a person do that? If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith <coughs> and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Ice. You got bars. No to you. Yeah. I want to see where he's ended up to. Mirror, mirror, don't call me a nit. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. Oh, bloody Mary. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Jesus. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. Looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? I didn't rhyme. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? Horrors, goodness. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. There we go. The door. Horror, horror, horror. What'd I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. It's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Mm -hmm. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. Stop talking I know to me like that, that can run high, And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare. Yeah, I can like I'm actual you. dog though. So I'm going to trust you. I'm on one of your seven doors, Snow White. That is, if you think you're ready. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. ready. I got no other I'm choice. Here. The Gothic Bridge, Central Park, 94th Street, night. This guy, he sprinted over here. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. I'm walking in, bro. I don't care.
Go. All right. Tim. Oh, this is the dumbass that was driving the limo. What are you doing here? Oh, shit. Evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Bro, I'm not shaking that hand. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. No. I you you admit, literally when they asked me, drove the I limo. I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. But I get it. You're not here on a social call. Yep. So that means I'm not talking to you. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... If you'll come this way, look, this is the one thing I, I need have your to help, do. man. I need you to hold my hand. You literally drove the limo that caused Bloody Mary Nolan to get away after she killed me damn near. Fuck you. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a... Guard. You're part of this, Tim, bro. How can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not. He's not as bad as you think. Surely not. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Don't care. Just keep that in mind, maybe. Because if you and the boss go man. up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? Didn't say that. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Well, he started it. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. Nah, bro. I gotta go in with you. I'm gonna fucking hurry. I don't have time for this. You literally drove off God with him in the car. Everyone. Don't care about you, bro. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop. How polite of you to knock. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Should have kicked that shit in. Fuck. Mm hmm. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodation. Should have kicked sort. it in. Fuck, dude. Could you handled it. You did well. You can go now. God, I hate him. Thank you, sir. Hate him so much. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Bro, don't you have a seat, Sheriff? You don't look at let the dumbass live. I'm not sitting down, bro. I'm a smoke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all, that is the end of episode four. I believe next episode we're going to put the Crooked Man in a pack and smoke him in front of the every op. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate y'all for watching. Please like, subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.